animal rescue center in Bristol is under threat. The sanctuary, which is home to over a hundred pets, is running out of space and is hunting for bigger premises. Patricia Yorston reports. Every day, more animals arrive on the doorstep of 108 Staple Hill Road. This time, it's a female guinea pig and her litter. Her owners are worried about the baby's health. How many pigs have you got in here, then? Okay. Oh. You want to make sure that these are getting fluids. If there's a real diarrhea problem, they will dehydrate. So make sure, keep an eye, try and take the straw out. In fact, you want hay, really. You don't really want the straw. The hay is the important thing. Maya Wen Crosby not only hands out not advice for free, she gives a home to the neglected and abandoned pets that no one else wants. She's been running her animal sanctuary for over a year and is currently looking after over a hundred animals, including 60 rabbits. If I didn't have to do it, uh, I wouldn't if there wasn't a need for it, but you get phone calls all the time, please take in my rabbit or we found a rabbit or whatever, and I really feel as there's a need, I'll keep doing it. We need some funding to help us basically to move. Um, we have to live on site. It's not like we can have some land because it's a 24 hour day job for some of the sick animals. Um, so we're looking now for some funding to, to help us to find somewhere suitable. If Maya Wen doesn't get help soon, the future for these animal refugees doesn't look good. Patricia Austin, HTV News, Bristol. Dated with hundreds of homeless rabbits. The animals have been abandoned by their owners who no longer see them as pets when they grow up. Fluffy, cute, cuddly and very appealing. But all these rabbits were unwanted. This sanctuary at Fish Ponds in Bristol has taken in 900 of them in the past year, more than any other place in the country. And breeding like rabbits is no lie. Within hours of arriving here, some of these bunnies have produced large litters. Many were pets, some were injured. All need loving care. Basically, they're bought when they're very tiny, cute and cuddly in, in the pet shops. And people don't give a thought to what they're going to be like when they grow up. And of course, when they get to about six months of age, they change completely and utterly into really a semi-wild creature. They are not suitable for children. Until people take that on board, we're going to continue to pick up the pieces, unfortunately. The truth is, rabbits are hard work. They have to be cleaned every day, they need vaccinations, and they're not good companions for other furry friends like guinea pigs. They beat them up potential adopters must know what they're taking on. We don't want them to be one of the 13,000 that were taken in throughout the year um, for history to repeat itself again. So the important thing is if a bunny is taken from here, it has a permanent educated home, let's say, and they know what they're taking on. Meet two-week-old Peter Rabbit. Now, it's hard to believe that such a fluffy little thing as this is going to grow up into something that can bite and scratch and dig up your entire garden, but he will. Even so, it's easy to see why rabbits are hard to resist. Jane Solomons, HTV News, Bristol. Bristol's sanctuary for family pets is facing a crisis. The haven for more than 100 homeless rabbits and guinea pigs could be forced to close unless bigger premises can be found. It looks like any other terraced home in Fishpond, Bristol, but this is the Cottontail Sanctuary. Inside, it's more like Noah's Ark, with not only a hundred rabbits, but also guinea pigs, chinchillas, birds, and even a mouse-eating bullfrog. Cottontail's founder, Myowen Crosby, is facing a crisis. She needs a sponsor to help fund a move to a larger house, or she may have to close down. The family have just about had enough of this, and I don't blame them, really. And, and out at the back, we're just absolutely uh, overcrowded with touches. So we desperately need to find somewhere else. If we can't, I can't see that we can continue. Some are brought in by the public, others referred there by the RSPCA and other welfare organisations. The sanctuary costs £6,500 a year to run, mainly funded through donations and the sale of rabbits once they're ready for new homes. This is why I do it, really. Um, when you get poorly ones and, and you see them get better, that's a reward. Um, yeah, that's it. Oh, what a big money. But without new sponsors, the future is far from certain for Myerwin's menagerie. Marcus Dare, HTV News. The CA investigation is underway tonight after 43 neglected white rabbits were found abandoned in a stable near Bristol. Some of the animals were in such a poor state that one had to be put down. Another needed surgery to have one of its legs amputated. RSPCA officers believe the rabbits were bred for meat and were dumped because of their poor health. 
the animals were transferred to the Cottontail Sanctuary in Bristol. But after we featured the story on our earlier bulletin, HTV viewers called the sanctuary, and thanks to you, almost all the rabbits have now been found homes. This abandoned squirrel has found himself an unlikely home at the Cottontail's Rabbit Sanctuary. He's been christened Squiggle, and he's regaining his health after catching pneumonia. Luckily, he's got no identity crisis. Coincidentally, a female squirrel's also been handed in, and they've become very good friends. But although they may be cute, squirrels don't make good pets. Another certain, you know, a rather offensive smell if, if you don't uh, keep them very clean. So no, I wouldn't say these make suitable pets at all. They're lovely at this age, but uh, they're not going to stay like that for long. They're developing teeth now. Aren't you? You are, yes. As I found out. So, uh, no, no, they're not pets. Definitely not pets. Unfortunately, the sanctuary, which has rescued over 900 rabbits this year, may be forced to no. close. No, Local residents know. are objecting to its location in a suburban terraced house. But Merwin has nowhere else to go. I do understand, um, in a way, in that it isn't. They would rather have people who are normal, in inverted commas, than, than somebody who is maybe slightly eccentric running a rabbit sanctuary. I do have an understanding for that feeling. Um, but they've also got to understand I'm doing my level best. You know, single mom with boys. I don't have a, a wage coming in. I'm not in a position that I can go and fund myself to move. I'm doing the best I can. And I could do with some help instead of, uh, you know, negative stuff being thrown at me. I really could do with some help here. Without some extra funding, Hello? the sanctuary may have to close, and in the future, uh, animals in need like Squiggle may really like find themselves minutes, out in the cold. Faith Lawrence, Channel 1, Bristol.